Okay, welcome to the scale series. Uh, for this series of videos, I'm just going to be introducing to you the different scale patterns. There are actually five standard patterns and seven uh, extended patterns, or what we call three note per string patterns. Okay, so we'll explore each one of them in the major scale, the melodic minor scale, as well as the harmonic minor scale. Okay, so without further ado. So the first thing about scales for this series of videos, we're just going to be focusing on our fretting hand. In this case, my left hand since uh, I'm right-handed. Okay, so the picking techniques, right, I uh, will talk about that in another set, set of videos. So let us begin with, say, a major scale. Okay, let's try uh, in the key of G major. What is a major scale? A major scale is nothing but Do, Re, Mi. So uh, following this pattern, Here, that's actually do re mi fa so la ti do. So the major scale in this position, okay, uh, we can extend it from the sixth string all the way to the first string, following the pattern here. And we add another note to turn around. And we continue again. Okay, so. Learn the scale pattern. There are three ways to actually play this. Okay, or you have uh, alternate picking. I'm talking about your right hand now. Alternate picking, sweet picking, or I guess legato, right? Okay, so again, what I mean, if you want to alternate pick it, if you want to sweet pick it, Hybrid picket or legato picket. Okay, don't worry so much about this when in the beginning stage, right? Focus on just on your left hand. Because uh, I've seen that there are great players who play, you know, with either one or sometimes even different uh, or all three techniques. So the, the purpose of learning the scales is just your left fretting hand first. So even if you want to do it all down strokes, right, this is to get the muscle memory into your right hand first, your left hand first. The next scale pattern in the, the key of G major, okay, it starts on the fifth fret, okay, this is what we call the Dorian pattern, goes like this. <laughs> pattern is starting on the seventh fret, some people call them the Phrygian pattern. Okay, next one starts on the okay this is the ninth position but the first note starts on the tenth fret on the sixth string. Okay some people call this the Mixolydian shape. And the last pattern starts on the 12th fret. Okay, this is the Aeolian shape, or some people call it just the natural minor scale. back to the first pattern, uh, major scale, but this is an octave up, so starting on the 15th fret. Same. One octave up. So you've gone through all five patterns, and then the patterns will actually repeat themselves, one octave higher. So the thing about scales, think of them as sort of like jigsaw puzzles that actually connect uh, to each other. 
Okay, and they always connect with according to that series that uh, we presented. Okay, your major scale. Followed by your Dorian. Right, and then Fusion and so on and so forth. The interesting thing is the end notes of your first pattern in this case, the major scale or the Ionian, connect it with the front notes of your next pattern, which is your, your Dorian pattern. so on and so forth. So the next one, the Fijian, connects with the end notes of your Dorian and it continues in that order. The next thing that we want to know about scales is that these scales can be shifted across the entire fretboard. So if we start on uh, the third position, right, this is the G notes, right? So hearing Mi Fa Sol La Ti Do starting on the G note that makes it the G major scale. So in this position, this is the G major scale, okay? That pattern, if we shift it to another position, say let's say we shift it up to two frets, one, two and then we play from here, this is your A note. Okay, so we superimpose that pattern on the fretboard and we play it here, we get Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do which is also the major scale but because we started on the A note, now it's the A major scale. So the entire shape can also be played here. Okay, and that's the A major scale, still following the same pattern. We do the same thing at another fret, let's say in this position. Okay, on the eighth fret, this is a C note. So if we play it here, this is the C major scale, okay? So as I mentioned earlier, all of these patterns follow a particular order, followed by your pattern one, your, I guess your major scale, then your Dorian and your Fusion and so on and so forth. If you transpose them to another position, right, that order will still remain. However, your, I guess your major scale will start on your, in this position. Okay, your next pattern, right, will actually follow after that, right? In this case, will be on the 10th fret. Okay, in this case, it's the Dorian, but because we're on the D note, then we'll call it the D Dorian. And so on and so forth, E Phrygian. Right, okay, so it'll still follow, maintain that order, and they will all connect with each other, just like uh, uh, five pieces of uh, jigsaw puzzle that uh, stick to one another. So this video deals primarily with what scales are. In the coming videos, we'll explore some ways to best learn them. And we'll also explore some of the other scale systems available out there, such as the cage systems uh, and your three notes per string. So that's it for this week's lesson, guys. I hope you enjoyed the lesson and I will see you in the next one.